all right guys what is up it's your boy mad panda and today we're gonna be playing part six of horizon zero dawn uh frozen wilds i think that's what it's called i'm <laughs> like i think that's what it's called that is what it's called uh we're gonna start off with this amazing view over here it looks fucking uh, uh pretty sick it looks pretty awesome okay i'm not gonna lie all right let's uh let's continue with the journey to find omara i honestly could be saying oraya it's Oriah. I just realized that her name's Oriah. I've been saying her name all wrong the whole time. I kind of regret ending the video. Um, last video at 37. Because I don't know like how long it's going to take us to actually find Oriah. Because um, we could legit just cross the door and like the entire mission could be like completely over you know what i mean like what i'm afraid of i don't want to start out i don't want to end a mission and then start one like right afterwards because then it's gonna like make the weird weird you know she has to be in here somewhere so let me actually scan this stage complete stage two complete all right oh Someone hacked the menu board to display obscene messages about our colleague, Mr. Blevins. Is this the most advanced geological project ever undertaken, or a junior high locker room? Come on, people. <laughs> hey, there's always trolls everywhere, no matter what. Alright, let's see what we got over here. I totally forget. I always forget that once you enter, like, a secluded area... Uh, you don't see the outside map. Wait, can you see the outside map? Oh, you can. Well, shit, you learn something new every day, right? I didn't even realize you could uh, actually change. Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> is this the end of the mission? Oh, God, this is what I dreaded. I ask again. As I've asked a thousand times. Speak to me. What more would you have me do? Is there no prayer that will reach you? No mark that will break your bonds? Ah. I can't help you if you won't speak. Whisper is all I ask to guide me. Who? No. How? How did you get here? The way was sealed by the spirit herself. I. I used one of these. I could show you. Yes, show me. Please. It's like all she needs is to start scratching her neck and she's gonna look like a crackhead. <laughs> back to the source surprisingly i'm actually enjoying these little little puzzles that they give us it's actually pretty fun i'm not gonna lie uh where's the light source which is like the strongest one so we could start wait does it matter where we start i don't think it does does it um oh what is that nope uh normally there's like a stronger light source that uh directs us like on which panel to start in but i mean maybe right here huh oh it's right here okay i see it is it hold up oh there we go yeah <clears throat> this one is actually the probably the the hardest one so far it's a bit more complicated. Uh, we have that. I mean, as long as like we touch the light source, it should be all right, right? Wait, what? 
Oh wait, hold up. Does that make sense? No, that wouldn't make sense at all. What if I turn it this way, actually? Nope, wrong way. This direction, and, um... Because the light is supposed to, like, go back, right, into the middle, normally. Uh, here, alright. About that, guys. Um, I do something. Wait, where was the light? <laughs> I lost the light. Okay, we're going the right direction. We already got that. I think we're doing pretty decently so far. And then that hits that area. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. So it's pretty much just going in a big zigzag. Not sure if we're supposed to connect it with the red ones, I totally forgot. We have that. I'm gonna actually just try it out. I wanna see what happens. Oh, it doesn't hit him. Yeah, it doesn't hit anywhere. Alright. Uh, that one's already connected. Maybe if we do this one like this. And I think this should finish it, actually. Did it work? Yep. Auxiliary channel recovered. Exploit successful. Holy shit, Trace what is that? Abated. Restraint abated. Orea, I need you. Authorized permission. Return to schedule task. No, I will not submit. Orea, the demon is forcing you. Orea, transmission terminated. You brought the spirit's voice back. You heard it. The voice of the spirit calling to me from the heights of Thunder's Drum. She was able to throw off the bonds of the daemon for a moment. Because of what you did. Who are you? And what do you want? I'm Aloy. Naltuk sent me. He thought that you could use my help. He was not mistaken. You've been a... Revelation. Now I know for certain that the spirit endures. Perhaps together we can find a way to set her free. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I came all this way for answers, and so far, I haven't heard any. It seems to me that you are the answer. But of course, I'll tell you all I can. The daemon. What do you know about it? I spoke with the spirit many times. First here, then inside Thunder's Drum. The last time. She told me she was under attack by something that could not be seen by mortal eyes. Something evil. She named it the Daemon, and said it needed her power to do what it willed. And she begged me for help, to find a way to destroy her if necessary, to keep it from using her. That was five years ago. I didn't hear her voice again, until today. What kept you from the spirit? After it begs for help. I went to Artok, hoping he could protect her. But the war with the Karja still raged, and before I could reach him, I was ambushed by the Mad Sun King's Kestrels and taken to Meridian in chains. I wasn't able to return to Thunder's Drum until long after the liberation, not until last thaw. You said you returned to Thunder's Drum. That was the expedition that went bad. I saw the funeral. <laughs> yes. Once there was finally peace with the Karja, Aratak and I gathered a warrock of great hunters to defeat the daemon. And yet, the old door to Thunder's Drum was gone, replaced by a gate we could not pass and many machines. We were crushed. Aratak called a retreat, but we had already lost our best. We abandoned them to the snow as we fell back. After. You and I could not agree on what to do next. So I came here, hoping against hope to hear the spirit again. 
And because of you, I did. He seemed to have a history with this voice, this spirit. She saved my life. Here, years ago, during the war with the Karja. A raid scattered my Warak. I was cut off, alone. I lured the enemy into the Rhyme Drifts, hoping to lose them in the mist, but they endured, so... I took refuge in this cave. That's when I heard her voice. A wanderer, lost like me. A spirit of the blue light yet sundered from it. She asked me for aid. She chose me. But I was in no position to help, not with the Karja after me. So she helped me first. By closing a door on the mountain below, one you must have opened to get here. Locked by means similar to those found in this room. It kept the Karja from reaching me. Safe from them. I was able to do as she asked. What did the spirit want from you? She said she was... hurt. Incomplete. She needed bones. Parts not unlike what you'd find in a machine. They were here, in this room. She wanted me to bring them to Thunder's Drum. So I did, and she showed me how to heal her. So began our communion. You had a communion with the spirit? Yes. Inside Thunder's Drum is a room like this one, only larger, with an altar. I went there many times to speak with her. What did she say? She told me she was lost and needed my help. She asked questions about our lands, our tribe, and she listened with patience, with wisdom. I told her things long kept silent about my family, my dreams, my fears. She never tired of me, never judged. We kept each other's company. Aurea, what do you think the spirit is? I see. You are not Banuk, and our songs are not familiar to you. You do not know of the blue light. That which struggles to survive in our hearts and animates the machines. The essence of life, and in its purest form. Harmony. As the anger of the machines grows, this light has faded from the world. And the spirits it sustains are stranded. That's what she is. A lost soul, cut off from what it needs. Lonely, forsaken. I must help her. We must. I'm not sure if I understand. But I want to. That's all I need. Bergren said you might know something about a man named Silence. That you may have had dealings with him at the Conclave? When that name is spoken, the secrets soon follow. Or vanish, as the case may be. Why do you want to know? He's put me in danger, but also offered help. I don't know as much about him as I'd like to. I would imagine his aid is very powerful. It will not come without cost. Unfortunately, I am sworn to an oath of secrecy by the Conclave on this matter. I get that. But you and I are trying to help each other, right? Yes. But I would be breaking an oath, and that... I cannot do. About silence? I've told you all I can. There's nothing more I can say. Let's see if I've got this straight. We heard two voices. One you call the spirit, captured somehow by the one you call a daemon. Whatever this daemon is, it's related to the machines and why they've become more dangerous. I want to know how. Both the spirit and the daemon are on a mountain, Thunder's Drum. So, why don't we go there and figure out what it all means? We can't. Thunder's Drum is dangerous, more than you can imagine. The daemon has secured it. Besides, our talk won't let us go. As chieftain, he controls the pass to the mountain. And he can't be reasoned with. Sounds like you need a new chieftain. Ha! Huh. There's an idea that's certain to win us friends. Huh. You said you were a hunter. And I'll wager you're not an ordinary one. It's not impossible. Even for an outlander. 
and Aratok couldn't refuse the challenge if you were known among the Werak. <laughs> Wait, uh, me challenge Aratok? I don't want to be chieftain of anything, much less a bunch of Banuk that don't want me. But you want to go to Thunder's Drum, don't you? You heard the spirit. She's suffering, tormented by the daemon. She longs to be free. And perhaps, when released from her bonds, she can give you the answers you seek. I can't believe I'm agreeing to this. Fine. What do I have to do? Get the Werex attention to show the worth of your claim. Win at the hunting grounds. Kill bandits that prey on the cut. Or speak to my friend Sekuli. You help her. You'll definitely get noticed. Do all you can. When the time comes for you to throw your spear at Aratok's feet, I will be there to back your claim. Until then, I'll be here to answer any questions you have about the challenge. Oh, and one more thing. In the box over there is a weapon, like my own. Take it. You may find it useful. Oh shit, a new weapon. Hell yeah. Uh, where, where the bitch at? Uh, Storm Slinger. Storm Slinger box one. Wait, do I even have enough room for weapons? Oh yeah, I, I definitely do got a shit ton of weapons left. All right, uh, I think it was this one. Oh, it was this one actually. Storm Slinger weapon 1520 Storm Bolts. I want to see what this is. All right, I want to check that out. Uh, where is it at? Uh, Weapons, Stormbringer, Stormbringer. Wait, is there a new staff? No way. Handling, bolts build. But what is this? What is this thing? Uh, I kind of want to go with the sling, but the sling is pretty powerful too. Uh, I want to check that out real quick actually. Ooh, it's like a rifle type of thing. <laughs> oh, shit. I gotta be careful, though, because sometimes they're not that strong, though. Uh, I might add a... Um, where is it at? Crafting. Modify weapons. I might add a modification to it. Yeah, actually, let's go with this one. Because uh, sometimes, like, weapons that you fire are not as strong... Uh, com like this one, where is it? I think, did I destroy it? I think I dismantled it. Oh no, it's right here. No, it's not that. What the hell? Well, anyways, I used to have this thing that, uh, pretty much threw, uh, threw, like, bolts of energy, I think, or bolts of, like, I don't know what the hell it was, but, uh, it was supposed to be strong, and it really didn't do a lot of damage, per se. The keepsake of the old ones. Is there anything to? Kenny and I don't need Before we do get started, all right. So uh, these are our quests so far. Tutorial, but new. Oh wait, these are tutorial. <laughs> all right, main. Oh, it's a side quest. Side quest. I mean, prove yourself to the warrior. Clear the bandit camp. Repair the. Oh, all right, tall neck. Complete trial at the hunting grounds. Repair. We repaired the tall neck already. Complete a trial at the hunting. Complete a trial. Okay. So I guess that's only one. Clear out bandit camp. Uh, main mission. To the curse, the darkness. LR undertakes dangerous to infiltrate the secret eclipse base and crash the cult's focus network. Oh, okay, that's uh Okay, that's from the main game. That's from not the not the other thing. Okay, so I guess uh, side quests are technically considered for the DLC side quests, if that makes any sense. Uh, for the wear ancient armor. Okay, so these are the only ones we're supposed to do so far. Uh, let's actually hide them. Highlight them. All right. We're going to be doing them next episode. Um, remember, guys, if you guys enjoyed this episode, uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, yeah, I'll be seeing you in next episode and try to uh, become a Warwick. Are we becoming a Warwick? I don't know. Peace.